nobody contacted me until the chaplain called and to ask where he was going to be buried and all and give his condolences. That's it. That's the only contact that I have had with them people. The warden was in control totally. I was told he was a ward of the state and either I do what they said or I didn't get to see my son. Well, the next morning they threw everyone out after they found out that a guard had done it. They started to, I guess, went into protection mode. Stephen was on life support, life support. This is what he looked like. This is my son's face. This is what I walked into. Unrecognizable. Could you tell that was my son? No. And I held my son's hand while they took, took him off life support and pronounced him dead at 1038 that morning. What I hope will come out of this is that when incidents happen in these prisons, the outside investigators are brought in and, and they are the ones that tell the story. They have to answer to somebody besides ADOC. I want to see them pay charges be brought against these correctional officers and I want to the, see the conditions in the prison change. If you don't have money, your son, daddy, cousin, nephew, whatever, they can even get a bar of soap. Why can't we at least let them feel like they're half human where they won't steal soap and get assaulted or steal toothpaste and get assaulted? It's the vicious circle that we've been in right now forever and ever and ever. We've got to come out of that circle. It's got to be broken. Mm -hmm.